Hi everybody, so obviously I haven't done a video since I was six months pregnant and then the pregnancy just started taking a toll on me and then motherhood started taking a toll on me so I stopped making videos. But not an excuse, here I am back with an amazing haul and with my amazing daughter Camila. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen her on Instagram or Facebook but this is her on video. Say hi Cammy. hi! Oh, she actually looked up. But yeah, this is my four-month-old daughter, Camila Rose, and we are going to do a haul video today, right? I've been very busy with her, um, especially in the beginning, adjusting to motherhood, which is hard, so I focused on that. I wasn't getting dolled up or shopping or doing anything like that, so my videos would have all been baby-related, not like there's anything wrong with that, but... I just preferred to do my little Instagram updates like I was doing them. So, say, I'm sorry we haven't done a video in so long. Little baby just took a nap. But anyways, um, I have a really amazing haul video with lots and lots of clothes because I got to go shopping finally. So, um, if you guys want to see a bunch of new stuff that I got and where to buy them, then keep on watching. Okay, so before I even begin the haul, I want to give you guys a little bit of advice. Um, most of these clothes are from Misguided, and I will be posting all the links on my blog for everything, so I'm sure you guys will be interested in some of the things I'm showing you. Uh, so, my tip of advice is, because you will read bad reviews about this website online, but just listen to me. Pay the extra $13 for express shipping. And I know that's a lot of money, but it's really, really worth it because it's the only way to get a tracking number. So all these clothes are coming from the UK. Like most of the clothes I'm showing you are UK based brands. Um, but you need to know where your package is when they're coming overseas. So just pay the $13 for the express shipping. Um, they ship it by FedEx. It usually gets to me in like three days all the way from the UK. So it's really, really nice and really fast. And it's the only way to get a tracking number. Um, I did have one of my packages lost in the mail from them just because I got the regular free shipping. And you know what? It's just not worth it to me. Um, plus, not to mention, it can take anywhere from like 10 to 20 something business days to get your clothes. And you really have no idea where they are. So just for my advice, just pay a little bit extra money for the shipping. I promise you it's worth it. Um, but yeah, ignore the reviews. Yes, you can quote me on that. I think the clothes are all incredible quality. Um, I've been refunded when my package was lost. Um, their express shipping is top notch. You'll definitely get your things. So for my experience from Misguided, I think that their website is wonderful and I will continue ordering from them. And I ordered a lot from them as you'll see in this video. So anyways, that was just my little disclaimer, but here I go with the haul. So I will start with these coats. This one was from Misguided, and it's kind of Celine inspired. It has this really, really interesting feel to it. I can't even describe it. It's like looks like almost these little curly, these little curly things. I don't know, but I, I absolutely love this coat. It's a little bit oversized. It's warm. It's really chic looking because it's a blush tone. Um, I absolutely love. And you're gonna laugh at me because I have some sort of weird new obsession with like blush and pinks. Don't know why, but. This one's from Boohoo.com, another UK website. And P.S. I had no trouble with Boohoo's just free shipping, so do what you want with them, but just take my advice on misguided. Okay, um, this is just a shaggy, oversized fur coat. Um, this might not be for everybody, but listen, look it up on Pinterest or Google or whatever. These coats with like skinny jeans just look so chic without even barely trying, and it's so comfortable and so warm. Um, so yeah, it's like blush toned. It's really really soft and it was cheap. It was like 35 bucks So definitely check it out. All the links will be in my blog And then my last coat I got is like a true pink color and it's kind of like a fur feeling this is also from misguided and I don't know it's it's nice. It's just an oversized kind of boyfriend fitting coat it looks so good with skinnies and like pointed toe heels um, and I don't know, the pink just makes it girly, it makes like, it look like you put a little effort into your outfit even if you just threw it on, so I absolutely love it, and they had a really good sale, so I just kind of stocked up on some coats while I was there. And then, I got some tops, this one's from Misguided, 
It's just a chunky cropped sweater that's kind of like cable knit in the front. I don't know if you guys can tell that I'm like in front of a really bright window. Um, and it has an oversized turtleneck, which I oh, I absolutely love. I love that big chunky turtleneck. And especially for girls who wear scarves, I think that these are like a good replacement if you don't feel like putting on that extra accessory. But I just picture this with like high-waisted jeans, even like high-waisted trousers. And yes, I call them trousers. I know that probably sounds funny, but because I order from all these UK websites, I just started saying trousers. So bear with me, I know. I'm from the United States, I'm from Connecticut, but I say trousers. Anyways, yeah, I think these with high-waisted pants of any kind will look great. Um, a pencil skirt, anything, but yeah, misguided. Love it. And then another cropped from misguided is this one, and it's kind of a plaid pattern. It's gray with a little bit of pink in it. And this is another like little fetish of mine now. I just love plaids for some reason. I just I sit at home with the baby all day, I see all these fashion posts online, and then I get all these new ideas, so I kind of just wanted to reinvent my closet a little bit. So yeah, this is cropped again. Um, I got a pair of pants that, that goes really well with this, I'll show you guys later, but again, just a really thick, nice quality sweater from Misguided, and nothing, it's like H&M prices, but way better quality, so you guys should definitely check it out. And then I have a couple basics here, this is a turtleneck kind of wife beater pattern but more feminine than a men's because you know men's beaters are kind of like itchy and thick this one's really really light and springy and definitely just a more feminine fabric and I don't know again high-waisted pants with this it's just a casual top but I think it looks great and then I got these oversized t-shirts from boohoo and listen I am a big breasted woman I have double D's uh, maybe even a little bigger now that I'm breastfeeding uh, but these oversized t-shirts are so oversized I mean I ordered this one's a four because they were out of a two but these come like way past my hips and they're just really loose so unless you're you know a thicker woman I would just recommend any girl just get the size two because they are this is a two and it's very very oversized and very loose still so um, don't follow the size guide if you guys are interested in these t-shirts. Okay, now I got some pants. I got quite a few pairs of pants actually. Um, these ones I'm actually going to be selling and again, I will include all this stuff below. Um, I made this Instagram called Demery's Closet. I haven't put up everything yet, but I will be selling some of my stuff off. So if you guys are ever interested in owning something from my closet that I once loved but I no longer wear, make sure you check out that Instagram and everything will be handled through PayPal. I ship it out pretty quickly after I get payment, but I just wanted to make some room in my closet for things that I maybe just don't wear that much anymore. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you guys want to buy anything out of my closet. Uh, but anyways, these are not what I thought they were from Boohoo. They like were pictured as boyfriend jeans, but they're actually pretty tight. A little bit like probably mid-rise acid wash jeans with rips it's not that I don't like them it's just not what I was looking for so I'd rather give them you know to a girl who actually is seeking a pair of pants like this but as you can see there's like a ton of rips in them um, the tags are still on uh, but yeah these are from boohoo and they just weren't what I was looking for so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell these jeans and then these are also from boohoo and these are just a white pair of skinnies with rips in the knee but just slight ripping I don't want a ton of ripping not not in this season anyways um, but yeah these fit nicely and like these for example with that big shaggy coat I think would look so so good so that's that these are such a good find oh my god so since those boyfriend jeans I ordered from boohoo turned out to be tight jeans I went on the lookout for a real pair of boyfriend jeans and I came across these ones from Old Navy who would even think of that but they have like these like uh, paint splatters on them and slight ribs and then they have like some patchwork on this knee these things are so comfortable they're flattering like they don't completely flatten your butt you actually still have a little bit of a butt in these but oh my god the, the fabric of them is like soft um, double cuff they come a little bit above the ankle which is like a perfect um, length for boyfriend jeans um, oh my god you guys should definitely check them out and of course Old Navy is not expensive so yeah I love I absolutely love these I live in these on casual errand days it's like so much more flattering than a pair of sweatpants 
And then just to include these because um, I wanted to recommend them to you because they're incredible, um, I decided to splurge in a couple pair of jeans and I was telling my boyfriend like, you know, you buy these jeans from H&M and Forever 21 or wherever else and they're cute but they lose shape. You, you know, you sit down like three or four times and you have like a saggy butt and I was just tired of that. So I wanted just like really good pairs of just basic jeans that fit amazing and can go with anything because they're just a good quality jean. Um, so Saks was having like this amazing sale. It was like an additional 40% um, off clearance. So I ended up getting these jeans down from like 200 to like 106 or something, which is still a lot. But if they are like, if they make your butt look banging and your legs look good and they're a good wash of jean that's not going to fade, it's totally worth it because you're going to end up spending like that same amount on buying a bunch of different cheap jeans. Anyways. This brand, I cannot believe I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Adriano Goldschmidt, I think. I'm telling you girls, if you ever needed the perfect butt jeans, these are incredible. They are so comfortable. Um, the butt, like the pockets are just so basic, but oh my god, I don't know what it does. It's like a, it's like a push-up bra for your butt. So this, the fit that I got was the Prima, which is a mid-rise cigarette jean. So it's definitely a slim leg, but not like crazy hug your ankles skinny but I'm telling you that these are the <laughs> these are the best jeans I ever had so take a look on Saks I'll try to find the link and post it well not below in my blog but my blog link will be below and then these are from Marc Jacobs um, I kind of wish I got a size down um, just because dark wash jeans tend to be very stretchy and um, these are black, so they're extremely stretchy. But anyways, this is the Marc Jacobs Stick Jean, and I got these on sale for like 70 bucks when they're usually like almost 200 So this is just a basic black jean with some stretch to it. But I think every girl needs a nice pair of just plain black jeans, you know. Because, I don't know, you don't want to be wearing leggings all the time. They're not warm. They're see-through half the time. So just invest in a good pair of black jeans. And then I got some other pairs of pants that aren't jeans. Um, these are my powder blue trousers. <laughs> I absolutely love these. They're like high waisted. They have this little cutout right here that just makes it look interesting. They have a little cuff at the end. Um, I love for some reason lately the combination of powder blue and baby pink. I think it looks kind of Barbie-ish, Barbie-ish, but in just a really cute way. Um, again, sitting at home with the baby, follow a lot of UK bloggers, they love this fashion combo. I love this fashion combo. So, I ordered these, they were on sale for like, I don't know, like $19 on Misguided. And then, these are the pants I was talking about that match that plaid cropped shirt that I had. These are a pleated front trouser, and they're silky, and they're kind of like a, like a mauve pink color. Oh my god, I absolutely love these, and they're so nice feeling. They, they feel like silk sheets. But yeah, um, these with a pointed toe heel and that crop shirt, I cannot wait to wear it. But yep, again, on sale, misguided. I think about mm, maybe like $19 probably. And then I got these, which these are also another go-to, like comfy, casual, Aaron Day pants, but very cute and put together. These are called, they're joggers. I think that they call like jogging like casual pants joggers. Um, but yeah, they are, they have pockets and everything. They're kind of like army cargo looking inspired, but I can't even describe the fabric. It's slightly silky, um, so it does look a little dressier than just an average like cargo pant. Um, it's got elastic on the bottom, elastic waistband with a drawstring tie. But I love these. They're high waisted, just throw on a black basic top, a pair of heels, or a pair of cute sneakers and you just look a lot more polished and put together. Those are also from Misguided, I don't know if I said that. And then another Old Navy find. So they have these pants called Pixie Pants. They're kind of like cropped at the bottom and they have all these prints and I absolutely love these. I don't know why. Um, I just think a printed pant just adds like instant interest to your outfit uh, without it being like, you know, overdone or ha having to over accessorize. So. I really like these. They're really stretchy, good quality, um, and I think with a heel or even like a fancy flat, these will look great. 
God, this is so unrelated, but these walls are so thin. My neighbor across the hallway has like a toddler, not a baby, but it cries a lot and you can hear it so deep in this house. <laughs> it's like so many times I run in the room, like I just did to check if the baby was crying and it's not, it's not my baby, it's the other baby. So anyways, if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so this is the last bottom I got. This is um, a baby pink skirt from Misguided. It's called... They describe it as like felt and that is kind of what it feels like, like a really thick felt. But I would almost describe it as like a wool coat. So it's a very warm skirt. I would still wear this in winter or fall um, just because of how thick it is. Um, and the thing I like about Misguided and kind of shows what good quality they are is a lot of their things have zip closures. And you know at a lot of the cheapy stores everything's just stretchy or like a pull on or whatever. A lot of these have zip closures to them. So that is just another you know idea of how good their quality is. But um, yeah, I love the two zippers in the front. Um, ideally I'd like to wear this with probably like a fitted um, white or cream turtleneck. Um, and even with that Celine kind of coat I showed you, I think it would look really cute. But they have this in baby blue or powder blue too. So if you guys are interested. And then I got like five pairs of shoes. I know that's crazy, I have so many shoes, but I'm actually selling stuff out of my closet, so I'm not being that bad of a girl. But hey, I came across a tiny bit of money on New Year's Eve gambling um, at the casino, and I've been at home with the baby, so I got really excited about shopping. But anyways, um, another little fetish I have are things called Chelsea boots. They're like a lower heel boot, usually a chunky heel. They're really sleek looking and comfortable enough to wear on a casual day. So the first ones I'll show you are these from Old Navy. Um, this is like, I think this is a Chelsea boot, but oh my god, they're so comfortable. Again, more polished than wearing sneakers or flip flops or Uggs like I normally do um, on my errand days. And these were like $30 at Old Navy. Um, I wore these with the boyfriend jeans and an oversized sweater and it looked absolutely great and I was so comfortable. So, love these. And then another pair of um, boots, I'm not sure if these are Chelsea boots, but these are from Misguided and oh, I love them. Except I will say, doesn't this look freaking huge? I mean, this looks like a size 10. I am a size 9, but this is just looks a little big. It's weird because they do fit, but there is room. So I don't know if this runs like a size two, like a size larger. Maybe I should have got an eight instead of a nine. But anyways, this is like a blush color, really, really light pale pink, two buckles, a chunky black heel. Oh, I love these. Just imagine these with like a ripped pair of jeans or even those white skinnies. They would just look incredible. And they're so comfortable because they're a thick heel, so... And then I got these. These were on sale, you won't even believe it, for $12. I swear to God, $12 at Misguided. Um, don't know if you can see, but it's like a croc, uh, white croc heel. These are so perfect for spring. I love snake and crocodile prints in the spring, and I love white shoes in the spring. So had to take advantage of these. They have a load of colors, and these are called like Isabel. I would recommend getting them. They're so comfortable, and they're not such a dramatic pointed toe for girls who don't love pointed toes. And then these are so different and so out of my comfort zone, but I saw them on a blogger's website, and I fell in love with them. These are like these black shiny crocodile skin. They're called brogues, I guess, from Misguided. Um, the heel quality is so like thick, like just a thick like heel that actually would like make a click and the shoe is heavy. So I don't know, it just feels like a really good shoe. And these I just picture with like a cropped like trouser or even those black pants, black white checker pants from Old Navy. Um, they just look sleek. They're pointed toe better than a regular flat because I'm not a flat person but this tiny bit of heel and the pointed toe with the with the um, shiny croc makes it like oh my god I want to wear this and it's actually comfortable so absolutely love these step outside your comfort zone because I promise you these things are like amazing looking and they're lace up and I don't know I just I love them I got in the mail yesterday but drum roll please my favorite part of this haul that I saved for last if you girls watch Sex in the City, you will know that Carrie had a similar pair of shoes to these, and ironically, Misguided named these shoes Carrie, so I think they were inspired by her, but oh my god. Do you see this? It's like a feather nude heel. It is so different. It is so feminine and girly. You see how high of an arch heel this is, too? 
I just love these and some girls will be like oh my god that's like a get me in the bedroom shoe because they do make a lot of like lingerie shoes like this but I love these and the fact that they're nude I think makes them wearable they come in red I don't think I wear red I love these this is my favorite part of the haul um, I don't remember the price but I, again I'll post it on my blog but misguided what a beautiful shoe I love these so much and then the last thing from this haul is a really unexpected find. Um, I've been going into Kohl's lately just because it's convenient, it's near the house. Um, I needed sheets one day and then like I started noticing the Jennifer Lopez collection was cute there so sometimes I'll go look. But anyways, I was just browsing through, I was actually looking for a wallet because I needed one. And I came across this beautiful purse. How girly and ladylike and sophisticated does this purse look? I love the chain straps, very Chanel-esque, and I love the quilted kind of faux leather. I love the gold hardware. It's cream on the side, so it's kind of color blocked, and I just think that this purse is just, just look how dainty. Oh my god, I love it. But anyways, this is like apartment nine, I think. Uh, apartment nine, I don't know, Kohl's is cheap, and then it was already on sale again, I think for like $25 or something. But this purse is so pretty, isn't it? And it's from Kohl's. So just look around. Don't be like a brand whore. Like just look for things that you like and that are beautiful. And you'll find things in the most unexpected places, I swear. Like Target. I'm always finding things I love at Target. That's why I can't go to Target unless I have money. Anyways, I know I blab a lot, but I had a lot of exciting clothes to show you, and I've been gone for so long, so I'm excited about making this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Every girl likes seeing what other girls buy, so I hope that this gave you lots of good ideas on where to shop and uh, what to buy. So I really love all these clothes, and I wanted to share them with you. That's why I kept all the tags on and everything. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul video. It was really long and really chatty, but I love you, and hopefully you guys tuned in till the end. Um, so please leave your comments below, like the video, leave suggestions below, and don't forget to check out my links below for my blog and my Instagram, my regular one, where I post pictures of me and the baby and kind of life, and then my Instagram where I'll be selling clothes if you guys are interested. So I will go now. No, that's a weird exit. I will go now. Um, I'm going to go now. My mom's coming this weekend, so I have to actually clean the house, which is funny because I'm all dolled up now. but. I have to finish cleaning and I have to edit this video, so I will talk to you guys soon. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.